Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. Uh, today we are going through uh, the setup of the Bighorn. Uh, I promised you that I will share my uh, setup file. You can just send me an email. Uh, I will post the email address in the info section below and I will send you uh, the setup file for the Bighorn. I'm using the Annex 10 from Spectrum and I'm using an 8 channel receiver without safe or AS3X. I don't like using receivers with gyros so my setup is totally without any gyro or safe technology. Uh, when that is said, uh, the safe technology is only affecting the aileron, the rudder and the horizontal stabilizer or the elevator. So I think you can use this setup as well, but I have no knowledge about setting up the uh, AS3X or uh, receivers with safe. So we have to go with the manual for this, but this is a clean setup and you need at least a seven channel receiver. Uh, the receivers are marked in different ways. Uh, the newer one from Spectrum are marked with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And the old one has uh, labels on them like aileron, elevator, rudder, uh, aux one, gear, and so on. So uh, I'm going to tell you I've made a cheating cheat here. Actually, it's much better that you uh, see the receiver with numbers. So, um, for example, on a label receiver, you will have gear channel. Uh, that channel is number five in the direction, of course. So uh, the way that I put my receiver now is when the plane is pointing towards you, like it is on the video now. So that will be the left wing and that will be the right wing for you. The left flap is going into port five the right flap is going into port 7. Left aileron is going into port 6. And right aileron is going into port 2 or the aileron port. So if you have a labeled receiver with the names on it, that means that you will have the left flap in gear channel. You will have the right flap in the aux 2 channel. Uh, the left aileron will be in the AUX1 channel and the right aileron, of course, still in aileron channel. So then you have one extra spare channel on your uh, receiver and you don't have to think about that. If you have lights that you want to switch on and off uh, built into it, you can use the spare channel for this, of course. So now you have the numbers. I will put them also in the info section below. So when you have set up your uh, receiver like this with the cable, we can uh, dive into the radio and the settings. If you choose to ignore what I'm saying now and just ask for a file, just remember to connect your um, servos into this port and you will be good to go. But before we go into the radio settings, I will tell you um, how I have set up the radio. This you can change in the channel uh, assignment uh, settings and of course into the expo settings and so on. I have chosen to use the switch F for the expo. It's much more easier for me to control because I'm using thumbs. So I can just use my finger to move the F switch. The mixing for flaps as aileron is put to switch A, which is a two position switch. So it's like on and off. The flaps is set on the B switch, which is a three position switch. So you have uh, flaps up, you have takeoff and landing, and you have stall. Uh, you can also uh, add uh, crow into the flap settings, but I haven't done that because my knowledge on how to use crow is quite limited. So I need to uh, I need to learn a little bit more about it before I can say something about it to you guys. 
Um, as you can see, uh, I have no um, coil on my airplane and I have fixed the wingtip. I had a crash with this the other day, a pretty hard one. I thought that it was total, but I got back home and I started to put things together, uh, adding some glue and uh, voila, the plane is beautiful and still capable to fly. Uh, I'm going to have some paint on uh, the end there. I just used uh, foam, sanded it down and put some epoxy around afterwards and did some sanding. It's not perfect, but it's way better than nothing. Uh, and a new calling is uh, arriving today or tomorrow and uh, also a new plane because when I thought that this was a total, um, I really love this plane so much right now. So I did want to just put the electronics over to an ARF that I bought, but uh, hey, now I have a whole plane in spare. So uh, try to fix it before you throw it away. Uh, that is a good solution. Uh, there is some alignment issues here, but uh, I don't think it has anything to say for the flight capabilities for this airplane. It's so easy flown anyway. The rods are a bit short, uh, the link rods are a bit short, so uh, before you start to dial in with the settings, make sure that you have your rudders completely uh, correct and that the flap works correct before you start with the mixing. This is very crucial to get a good mix for flaps as ailerons. So uh, here we have the radio and you can see that I have the model Bighorn here selected. So we are just going to go in through the settings and watch them. First of all, you want to go into uh, the servo settings. And as you can see here, I have adjusted the travel a little bit on uh, the left flap. It's not, I'm not sure that you need to do that, but as you can see, and the sub trim is here as well. This doesn't matter anything to you because you have to sub trim and uh, set up your uh, rudders before we go into the mix. So the way you are sub trimming your plane should be totally different than I'm sub trimming mine, of course. Uh, the re re reversing of the servos, perhaps that can be a bit more of an information. And here you can see the uh, elevator is reversed, uh, the uh, right flap is reversed, and that is it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the uh, system setup. Here you have it. And of course a model select and then you go into a uh, model type you need to choose a new model of course and model type is airplane of course uh, model name uh, I'm calling my big one it's the name of the plane and aircraft type and you want to choose two ailerons and two flaps you need to have these settings to get the flaps as ailerons Uh, flight mode setup, I don't use that. Channel sign. So here you can see channel input configuration. Um, you have not, uh, not active, that's because you're using this channel as rudders. And uh, of course you have the 8, 9 and 10. So the 8 we have a uh, spare. So um, when we go to next. You can see throttle, throttle, aileron, right aileron, elevator, elevator, rudder, rudder, gear, left flap, aux one, left aileron, aux two, right flap, aux three is aux three. So everything here is okay. Let's go back and uh, trim set uh, setup. It's for your liking. Uh, I'm using five. Not necessarily any good information. <laughs> So now you have done the setup uh, for your rudders 
and you want to go to the mixing part. Uh, when it comes to uh, the flaps, I can show you here as well before we go inside. Here we can see that here's my flap system and you see that flap is zero and it's minus 30 and minus 99 on position zero, one and two. And I'm using the switch B. Speed is uh, two seconds for flaps. And you can see that spectrum is now allowing you to add crow uh, mixes as well in the flap. I have never tried it, um, but I will dive into it uh, when the weather is getting a bit better. So this is the flap system that I'm using. And as you can see, I'm using compensation for the elevator when using flaps. So it's nine and 16. These are great when you are using a 2200 three cell battery, but you can tweak them a little bit when you're using a heavier battery. So it not necessarily the correct uh, setting for you, but this is how the flap system is set up. Now we're going to mixing. And what we want to do is go into the aileron and flap setting. Here you can see that I only mixed with one um, flap. That doesn't matter because the information goes to both flaps because we're using dual flap settings and the servos are pointing at the same direction. And this is important, of course. Uh, when we go into this mix, you can see here um, when I'm switching the mix on. So it's not much more than this. Set the rate to minus 100 and minus 100. That is what you need to do. And now when you're using your uh, aileron, the flaps will be going as well. And when we turn it off, you can see that it's on zero. And finally, I'm going to show you uh, my uh, exponential and dual rate settings. And my settings are put on the switch P. And here you can see, uh, see that my normal rate is set at 50% dual rate and 50% uh, expo. Uh, I'm using the same switch for all rudders. Uh, it's just uh, something I do uh, on all my planes. And if we go into elevator and rudder, you can see that they are a bit different, but you can go through this if you get my file, of course, and change them. So, and here you can see on uh, the rate or mode two, I have 75% uh, U rate and 40% Expo. And on the uh, uh, second mode or the third mode, it will be, I have 100% throws, which is insane on this plane and 40% Expo. You need a little bit Expo because she is so uh, twitchy uh, when you are using full throws on her. So uh, this is my dual rate and expo. You can go through them and you can change them after you have inserted uh, or um, uploaded the file from my radio. Let's check out the flaps from the top first. Like that. And with a switch we have Insane rudder authority. I'm going to show you uh, the other way. Like uh, this is. So first, flaps. Cool. And then with the mix. <laughs> Beautiful. Highly recommend just setting up the plane by yourself, not using another one's file. But if you want my file, it's okay. Just send me an email and I will send it to you. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.